Hello, I'm Glasses Geek, and doing this is terrifying me. I, I don't know what kind of a response or comments I'll get, but I'm doing it anyway, and I'm proud of myself for doing this. I'm physically ill, and I'm undiagnosed, and this is my shout before I go out. I don't know how much more time I have left on the earth or alive, but for the amount of time that I have left, I'm going to be an advocate for everyone who is undiagnosed. If you're physically ill, if you're feeling horrible, then come here and tell me. I won't doubt you. I won't doubt your word. I believe you. I believe in acting and functioning and doing in love. I'm crying because I'm so deeply hurt because of all the pain that I know is out there. Emotional and soul because of how terrible it is to be ill and not be believed. I'm also crying because this terrifies me to put myself on camera, but I'm doing it anyway and I'm proud of myself. But I believe in acting and functioning in love. When you love someone, you take them at their word. You do not doubt anything that they say. You take them at face value. You don't try to discredit, discount anything that they say, anything that they believe. You don't make them out to be insane. You don't make them out to be druggies just wanting a hit. You don't make them out to be mentally ignorant or incompetent to the point where they can't even tell what their own physical bodies are telling them. You don't do any type of other demeaning things. When you act in love, you believe someone. And that is what I believe in doing. To the best of my ability, I am human, but I believe in acting to the best of my ability and to the best of my brain and body to take people at their word and to trust them and to believe them. And the overall label of that is to take them in love. I'm sorry to say this so seriously and so sadly and make this video and I'm sure many others so in such a serious and sad and even weeping vein but that's who I am, that's the kind of person I am. And I don't believe in covering. I believe in telling the truth. And I believe in being truthful. And to me, that's what matters. I don't always get comedy or jokes, and I don't always get sarcasm. Because I'm Asperger's, but, you know, I always call the Asperger's light. My sister called it, you know... I always used to call it socially retarded, but she said don't call it that, call it socially inept. So, yeah. So I guess you can call it socially inept. <laughs> but I believe in taking people at their word no matter what anyone else says. Even people standing right next to them. So if you are undiagnosed, then come here and tell me Give a shout before you go out. Don't just leave the world in silence. God, I just hope everyone can even understand what I'm saying. This camera doesn't have a very good microphone and, and uh, I'm crying so much. <laughs> At least this room is dead silent now. Because my friend is gone. I'm still too embarrassed about myself and my own personal situation to give any real personal details. But at least I'm doing this much and I'm proud of myself. And I'm hoping that if I can get enough support, I can be able to speak more and say more for more people. For myself and for others. But anyway, I wrote a poem that goes along with this. 
going over my poetry and even when I was writing it I realized that this can actually apply to everyone and so this is actually for everyone I coined a term called don't go out without a shout or don't check out without a shout <laughs> originally and initially it was in the vein and for mental illness but even though it's for mental illness I believe it's very much you know it very much can be applied to this video here which is about physical illness it was inspired initially by Robin Williams death but upon going over my poetry as of recently I realized that a lot of the poetry that I wrote for him and about him actually can be applied to everyone it can actually be applied to a lot of life situations and a lot of life problems not just you know depression or mental illness or being bullied or an outsider or any other such item um, or even the heartache and heartbreak of loss but this poem is for everyone for the people who are physically ill and suffering and undiagnosed for the people who are mentally ill and suffering and undiagnosed for everyone who is physically and mentally diagnosed and suffering and for everyone who is bullied and just for everyone in general don't check out without a shout don't check out without a shout don't leave everyone with their jaw dropped wondering why why did you turn the lights out so speak out shout let everyone know why and how I've taken a break you know batteries went dead and I I had breakfast so let's see if I can do this without crying <laughs> I think I can now don't check out without a shout don't check out without a shout don't leave everyone with their jaw dropped wondering why why did you turn the lights out so speak out shout let everyone know why and how when you intend to go so that we can deal with it while you're still alive my friend and say our goodbyes while you still have your mind and give us the chance to mend what we can while you're still coherent enough to understand so please hear my pleas to everyone that sees this video now don't check out without a shout say something before your final bow it'll save us survivors the leftovers the rubble charred to dust the cause the reason why and I'm crying anyway some sort of soothing in the waking of the dawn when we had to wake up and realize you were gone